Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are making a chicken katsu curry, which is not the name of a curry named after a cat called Sue. It's actually, katsu is a Japanese term, I think, for battering or breadcrumbing uh, things. So not just chicken, you can do vegan, veggie versions, all that stuff. Exciting times. And I've had loads of requests for this over the years, and I'm delighted to present it to you right now. If you want to give this a go, the full method and ingredients are on myvirginkitchen.com, an amazing website. You should check it out. Let's do it. So we can divide this recipe into a few different sections, and I've already done one bit, which is panko breadcrumbing our chicken. So all you do is take two chicken breasts in between sheets of cling film, bash them with a rolling pin to get them a nice, even thickness so they cook quicker and also nice and evenly. If you want to take that chicken and dunk it in your flour, Get it all coated on there, kind of like antiquing it. Dunk it in your egg. This is going to give it some grip as you plunge it into those shards of panko breadcrumbs. Leave it to rest, and that's actually in the fridge now while we do our sauce. You may have heard of this recipe from the well-known restaurant Wagadadas, and we're going to do our own sort of homemade twist on that. The cool thing about that, in fact, Mrs. Barry first introduced me to that restaurant, is we can tweak it to make it as spicy or as mild as we like. Mrs. Barry would like it really mild, so you just do mild curry powder, mild spices, which we'll come on to in a bit. But I'm going to take mine up, give it a little bit of mm, a bit of spank. I've got just about a tablespoon of vegetable oil there. And just while that does warm up, we've got some uh, onion there that I've chopped. We'll just push that in. You don't have to absolutely obliterate the onions, we're just going to kind of make them translucent. The next thing I'm going to add is a garlic clove, chopped. Nice bit of flavour, also to prevent vampires taking over your katsu. Incidentally, if you do have a cat called Sue, why not let me know in the comments box down below? I'd love to know. This is medium curry powder, so Mrs. Barry would hate this, and two tablespoons of plain flour. So all we'll do, we'll just stir that through, just to let it coat uh, the onions and garlic at first, sort of cling those flavours to it. Now that is starting to smell curryish now. I'm, I'm now in the zone, I'm not just making garlic and onions. Here we go, we've got some vegetable stock right here. I'm gonna pour in half of it. I've got 500 mils in total. Good maths tells me that's 250 mils just for now. Stir this through. Oh yeah. And what we'll actually do over, I'm on a medium high heat. It's gonna to start to simmer away. We're gonna reduce down. Okay, we want quite a thick sauce and the flour will help that happen. This is actually a really nice sight to look at. Uh, quite therapeutic with the bubbles just going like that. Like a, like a spa, a curry spa. Uh, in goes the rest of our stock. So let's cool it down again. This is some medium chili powder. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. The inner barrier wants me to put paprika in though, but I, I avoided that today. Some honey, that heap teaspoon of that, and some soy sauce. So when Mrs. Barry took me to Wagadadas, uh, the one thing that I liked about it was the uh, sauce was super thick. So that's all we're gonna do, it's quite thin at the moment, but as it heats and simmers, it's gonna reduce down. So we'll let that do its thing, stirring it from time to time and tweak it if you like. But meanwhile, I'm just gonna do a boring step of getting my rice on to cook to one side, simply to package instructions. So I've just taken my chicken out of the fridge. It's nice and firm. Uh, in fact, I should probably have left one of them in there because I've only got a small pan. I don't want to overcrowd it. I need to get a bigger pan, really. Uh, what we're going to do is put our vegetable oil into the saucepan and make sure that it covers the bottom fully and a little bit higher, so maybe like half an inch of height. I've got so many pans on the go, I'm like a cooking DJ. I've got my rice there, DJ rice. I've got my sauce and then the oil just warming up here for the chicken. Do be very careful when you do this. You can actually deep fry it entirely if you wish. Healthy. So all I'm gonna do is take my chicken. Look at that mountain of chicken. I'm gonna sit it into that oil. And you can see it's starting to cook away. If you're not sure how hot your oil is, get a little bit of bread, junk it in there. As soon as it starts to fizzle and fry, you know you're in a good place. Fry the chicken until nice and browned either side and then rest it to one side on kitchen towel just for a couple of minutes. The pan where we've taken the chicken from is still warm so we're going to use that to our advantage and just fry up some monge too and sweet corn. This is only going to take about four or five minutes in the pan. Uh, stir it through, doesn't need any oil because there's already a little bit in there. So with these all cooked through, that is it. That's all the steps. We just do some finishing touches to bring it all together. Cha-ching! So this is optional. If you want a chunky sauce, just leave it as is. But I've got my little whizzy blender thing. Just pouring that in like so. Be careful and please, whatever you do, make sure your lid is on. You do not want to spray this all over you. Down this goes and then whiz away. 
Hey presto, we should have a nice smooth sauce. Woohoo! Smooth baby, smooth criminal. Uh, I actually do have a little thing of making rice moulds at home. You can do it in like glasses, but this ramekin just gives you this nice sort of like dome shape. The mould's just going to sit there. The rice is still warm. It's good. It's doing its thing. It's shaping. Uh, so all I'm going to do is slice the chicken into probably like inch size, inch and a half thickness bands. Oh yes. Loving it. Cha-ching. Perfectly cooked through. Crispy coating. Gorgeous. You know what, folks? I am proud of myself. I'm not 100% health today, uh, but we've fought through and made a stonking dish. It's going to taste superb. I feel like it's my reward. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. And of course, let me know down below what you want to see next. This comes the Indiana Jones like sand gold thing right at the start of the uh, first one. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to tip our rice. We're going to take this in the ramekin, sort of place the dish, our final serving dish on top. It's still warm, I can feel it. And then we go, and then, oh, that's proper wagga dadas eat your heart out, right? We're gonna get our veg down. So sweet corn all charred from that oil in that pan there, the munch too. Oh, you glorious, gorgeous looking thing. Let me sit down our chicken. You know what? You guys know this, well, most of you guys that have been from the beginning. I was never that good at presentation, but I like to think that it is slightly improving slowly. So the sauce straight from our Wizzy Blender thing. So if you've got one of those, that's probably the best way of serving it. So I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, just let it dribble all over the chicken. Not completely coat it. We still want it to know that it's chicken, but that all on top of there looking absolutely stonking. Okay, I have warmed it up in the microwave because let's be honest, it goes cold by the time we take nice pictures of it. I'm excited, I've got a bit of everything on the fork here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. The crunch of the chicken, the heat in the sauce. Mmm. That is absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. I am totally gonna destroy all of that off camera. It is phenomenally good. There's so much heat in there, just kicking a real punch. As I say, tweak that to your liking, but I think you're gonna absolutely love it. If you do try it, don't forget to send me a picture at my Virgin Kitchen. Follow me on social media for all behind the scenes, bits and bobs, and I'll see you again next time. Meow, katsu.